Hey team, it is Melissa from Melissa vs. Virology here and I wanted to talk to you today about something I haven't spoken about before, uh, weight and fibromyalgia. So I guess there's a lot of um, components to it and I'm so sorry because there are always a lot of components to it. Um, there's very little that is simple with fibromyalgia. Um, maybe next time I'll try and devise something that is super simple for you so that it doesn't feel quite so difficult every time I start with it's complex but uh, but the um, there is so much going on in terms of the weight so for example when we can't move so much um, that doesn't help us lose weight and when we are so limited with food options say we've got a lot of intolerances or maybe we're just too tired to um, put together good meals uh, all of the complexities that go into that kind of thing, meal planning and uh, choosing what food to eat, uh, and when all the convenience food around us is just really bad for us, uh, and a lot of options, like I know in America there's a lot of sugar and just things like bread, which must make it so difficult. Uh, I'm really thankful that I'm uh, in New Zealand and we have a lot of very healthy options available and our bread is, does not have any sugar in it. Uh, and I'm really lucky actually that I love vegetables, so it's it's a little bit easy for me to um, experiment with that. Uh, but yeah, that um, there's a whole lot of complexity just around the food and the eating. Uh, and also our medicines play a big part. Um, there are some medicines which cause weight gain or make it hard to lose weight. Um, so there's just a lot of different things going on there. So I wanted to share a little bit uh, about what's been happening with my weight. So right now I am back to my pre-fibromyalgia weight. Now when I say pre-fibromyalgia weight, that was back when I was at university, I was going to the gym, I was pretty active and um, I had a very good body fat percentage uh, and I was perfectly within the normal health requirements for my height, um, maybe on the slim side. And I just love exercise and, and was able to indulge it back then. Uh, so I was, um, I'm back there now. And it's quite interesting because this is not even six months postpartum with my third baby in five years. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. Um, but there's a lot of things to it. So I've always been focused on good food. I love vegetables. Uh, I explore things like um vegan options not because I am vegan but because I value um, the options you know that can just basically boost us with the plants and um, I love plant-based eating and I it really resonates with me the um, eat food mostly plants not too much um, from Michael Pollan uh, and yeah so that's really something that's really helped me it's just being mindful of what you're eating and I don't eat a lot of sugar uh, and I've always said that I don't make food a battleground, so I'm not really rigid on myself. I'm not really big on lots of sugar, but I'm not too um, worried about it, and I always make sure I eat my fruit and veg and my whole grains, but I don't stop myself eating other things. I've tried gluten-free before, but it didn't really make a difference. For me, uh, I am lactose-free. Uh, right now I'm cradling my uh, Moringa powder latte with my lactose-free milk. Uh, that's how I get my um, calcium and my moringa is uh, I'm excited about it because I feel like it's a more natural version of the multivitamin so I'm trying that at the moment and I'll let you know how that experiment works out uh, but um, yeah so that's where that is isn't it awesome when your brain fog uh, comes in and you forget what you're in the middle of saying <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so healthy eating has been a big part for me, but I don't make it a battleground. Uh, exercise, I've always done as and where I can. So uh, for a long time, I've been doing yoga and Pilates. The last few years, I have transitioned more to yoga. Uh, I found it easier to do yoga, and I love the fact that I can do little bits here and there, and it's really adaptable to what I need when I need it. So that's been something I've been really enjoying. Um, but sometimes you can't do much exercise. But basically the entirety of last year, my pelvis was so bad I could hardly even walk, uh, even inside the house. Uh, but I was stretching as much as I could, but I couldn't even stretch um, all those big muscles around my glutes, which is um, tricky when I have active trigger points there. Um, 
but yeah, exercise is important. But what actually has helped the most, besides nursing, which is very energy intensive, uh, is starting Lotus Naltrexone. And as a result of starting Lotus Naltrexone, I have started sleeping better. So even with uh, my baby who um, wakes up in the night still, I have been sleeping better than I have in the entire 10 years before because of Lotus Naltrexone and sleep is king. Sleep helps with energy, sleep helps with pain, sleep helps with weight loss. Uh, so I have um, been losing weight because of that and um, also because I stopped amitriptyline. Amitriptyline is a medicine uh, that can cause weight gain and, and make it difficult for you to lose weight. So all of these things have kind of culminated in uh, me losing weight. So it's been very up and down. Obviously, with three children in the last five years, I've gone up and down. Uh, but pre-fibro, I was uh, around 58 kilograms. And pre-babies, I was 64 kilograms. Uh, then I put on my baby weight, and then I um, lost my baby weight. Um, and yeah, now in the last um, five and a half months, it's been coming off, and I'm back at a a very healthy level and I'm really thankful. So I just wanted to share about that and again how complex it is and how many areas there are. So if you are struggling with weight, uh, don't just look at you know the food, even though food is important, and the exercise, even though exercise is useful. Uh, do look at medicines and do look at sleep. Uh, and I'm sorry again because I know that sleep is really complex. Uh, but I am a coach who works with people and one of the areas I love to work uh, in is looking at sleep and simple things like sleep hygiene tips or other natural tips or even just helping you make a plan and getting some research um, together to take to your doctor to ask for more help. Uh, I find that um, my doctor is really receptive because he knows that I've tried all the things and when I bring him research he knows you know where I'm coming from. And I'm showing him that I have tried everything I can try. Um, and I find that to be a good approach to going to doctors. Uh, but sleep is really important. And that's something I talk about in um, every level of my coaching program. So even the foundational levels, we talk about sleep. Uh, and we talk about central nervous system and meditation, which also helps with sleep. Um, but if you are curious about um weight loss, exercise, any of that sort of thing, come along, let's have a chat in the Melissa vs. Fibromyalgia Facebook group and let me know in the comments uh, where you are at and if anything um, has really helped you in your journey, uh, if it's something surprising as well, like a, you know coming off a medicine or suddenly being able to sleep or anything like that, I love to hear from you and I love to hear if you've got any tricks or tips around um, eating because I know that that is a big issue. So again, thank you for joining me. Uh, like and subscribe if you like these videos. Check out um, the information in the box below about basically everything I've just thrown at you. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys.